hello, regular Drews. And happy Halloween. Welcome to a very special spooky episode <laughs> of regular Nancy Drew. <laughs> we just could not do the ghost stories again this year, y'all. No. Sorry. No. <laughs> they're too bad. It's They're too bad. They're no fun. They're not scary. No. <sighs> so... We need to focus on things that actually are scary in the Nancy Drew mm-hmm. universe, just in case y'all Absolutely. need a little bit of good Halloween goodness this year. Mm-hmm. If you need a recommendation for what's the spookiest Nancy Drew thing that I could read or watch or play, we're going to find out today. Yeah. We're going to make a tier list. Yeah. I feel like I should like cannons should go off or something. <laughs> boop, boop, or something <laughs> crazy like that. I'm very excited. Um, so we've compiled a list um uh in no particular way just things that came to mind of spooky Mm -hmm. things we've read or watched or played um and we're gonna go through it and rank it for you Mm -hmm. (laughs) we got five categories um one to five probably from worst to best or least spooky to most spooky yep um in our one category we have scary bad actually funny (laughs) Um, and on second tier, we have not spooky at all. Third, we have some spooks has its moments. Um, then good spooks, but not terrified. And then five, our best is super spooky. Um, so we'll be going through this list of things and ranking them all. And then when we are done and when the episode is posted, we will be posting that on Instagram for you guys to review and make mm-hmm. some choices about what you want to be doing this Halloween season. <laughs> Cause what else would you do besides spend it with exactly. Nancy Drew? I mean, there's no, well, other I just, option, I'm just so. assuming, I'm just assuming that <laughs> everybody who listens to this is going to be doing something Nancy Drew related at Halloween. So, so, <laughs> Okay, so since we already started talking about the ghost stories and how not spooky they are, let's just start there, Corey. Um, Do you think they are scary bad, actually funny, not spooky at all, have some spooks, um, good spooks, but you're not terrified, or are they very spooky to you, Corey? So I think we're going to lump all ghost stories kind of into one category here, <laughs> right. which is a little difficult because I'm mm. I'm going back and forth between one and two. It kind of depends on the ghost story because some are, you know, they're just not spooky. Some are so bad that they're funny, though, you know. So yeah. I uh-huh. might say one and a half. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I would be generous and say that some have some spooky some no 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 i wouldn't say that 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 any have any spooks so i definitely mm-hmm. agree that it's going to be on the low end of uh, the tier here either one or two but i think overall the ones that are bad are so bad that we kind of have to put them in scary bad actually funny okay yeah okay <laughs> all so right one. <laughs> so that's where that's gonna go <laughs> Um, We also have on this list just some classics, some classic spooky ones here. And so we decided to put Shadow Ranch on there. But we're going to put both Shadow Ranch, the book, and the game. So where do you think those should fall, Corey? Oh, okay. Let's start with the game, I guess. Okay. With the game, we do get, like, the visual, Mm -hmm. the the visual phantom horse. horse. We see the, the ghost horse. Um, mm-hmm. which I mean that gets a point right there but the book I feel like is a little bit more detailed it, you know mm-hmm. we get more vibes we get more instances of the spooks so mm-hmm. just for the game let's say a three really you think the game's spooky not really no <laughs> okay <laughs> you think it has some spooks I mean yeah it has it has a few moments where you definitely I mean if if you were much younger, you might be scared of the horse. Mm, but okay, hmm, it's hard. I I I see. I think I fall on like it's it's not spooky at all. But the phantom horse definitely makes me laugh. Okay. Oh, oh, so too. So, but I don't. But I'm not gonna rate it a one. So, yeah. but I think I I don't think it's scary. So I would put it a two, two and a half. Yeah, we can't two. do okay. that on the tier oh, list. We gotta, oh, we gotta okay. pick a full. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize there was no half. So let's go two. No. Then. Yeah. Two. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, in that uh, case, I'm going to say two for the book as well. I think. Really? Because I would give the book three. Okay. Wow. Okay. We just swapped our answers. There. I think That's that funny. we. 
<laughs> I think the book, maybe it's just because of the, they have the opportunity to give more. Mm-hmm. But I think like the whole, like being out alone and it's like rainy and stormy, that I think gives some spooks with like the concept of a ghost horse. Whereas the game, I didn't, I never got that. You know? Oh, and then Dry Creek. I forgot to mention Dry Creek just entirely. Oh, wait. You're totally right. Dry mm-hmm. Creek gives it gives it a three. Maybe they're both a three then. They're, they're both a three. Okay. We'll give Shadow Ranch the book and the game. Some spooky has its moments. Mm-hmm. You're totally right. Okay. <gasps> All right, Corey. <laughs> the big one. The big kahuna. Uh-huh. Kahuna? Kahuna. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said it with a G. That was weird. Um, the CW show. That's a five. It's 100% a five. Super spooky. So scary. Jump scares, ghosts, all of it mm-hmm. definitely deserves its super spooky tier. Hauntings, possessions. Possessions. Just, yes. Go uh, on. Uh, Bloody dresses and like people committing, you know, suicide potentially. <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots of scariness oh absolutely possibly possibly contender for the scariest nancy drew content mm-hmm. so i would all agree right. i'd agree already off to a good start here with a five all okay. right now we've got a group of three here that we're gonna have to parse out and we've included all of the hidden staircases <laughs> so the book the Benita Granville movie and the Sophia Lillis movie, mm-hmm. Hidden Staircases. Which one do you think is the most spooky out of them? Probably the book for me. Absolutely the book. Yeah. The book is kind of spooky. Yeah, especially the original one. The original one was even spookier than the revised, I would say. I would go so far as to say that it has good spooks, but I'm not terrified. Yeah, for the book, yeah. For the book. Because the whole, the whole concept of, like, just exploring, like, the underground, like, tunnels and also, like, like so much – she has so much face-to-face with the bad guys in that. hmm Uh-huh. And, like, chains. The Carson's, like, chained up in this, like, basement. <laughs> that's, that's pretty spooky. Well, and just all the hauntings that we have as well. Yeah. The bad guy, like, sneaking into the house and sneaking mm-hmm. around them while they're sleeping. Terrifying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so that's a four. That's a four. I don't think that any of them get any spookier than that. No. (laughs) Um, I mean, it's not... Okay. Oh, okay. So here, I I just have to preface this by saying I liked the Sophia Lillis Hidden Staircase movie. I thought it was very cute. Um, But I would give this a one on spook level. Yeah. (laughs) Because the spooks in it, in particular, are so bad they're actually funny. That pig face man. The pig was, face mask. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exactly what I was thinking about. It's just not scary. It's just so yeah. like this, the things they try to make scary are funny. Yeah. So I think that's why it deserves a one. But overall, I'm a fan of it. I just don't think it's scary. Yeah. Benita Granville. Now, it it's supposed to be funny. It has comedic <laughs> moments. Yeah. So I don't want to say that the spooks are so bad that they're funny. But there's not a lot of actual, like, no. I'm not scared when I watch this. I'm laughing no. because, you know, Ted's doing the whole thing with the fire hose right. and all that and making the roof collapse. But mm-hmm. it's not scary. Right. I think for me, the scariest part of it is when they're in the underground tunnel and it's filling up with water and they're trying mm-hmm. to escape. Right. But that's not like spooky scary. That's just like imminent threat of death scare right (laughs) it's not like oh no the ghost Ooh, you know so i think i would give it a two i don't think it's spooky is that the one where ted sleeps in the basement and they get the photo in the night with the flash and he gets arrested for cross-dressing even though somebody stole his clothes yes that i mean it it was it was going for spooky vibes but it's still that wasn't even scary yeah i think it's two I think two is fair. Yeah. All right. So we do have, we have a couple just like one-off books that we thought were deserved a spooky rating. Um, and that is Ghost of Grey Fox Inn, The Nancy Drew Diary. So I just have to go out and say Ghost of Grey Fox Inn, I love. I yeah. love. I think it's probably one of my favorite Nancy Drew Diaries that we've read so far. There's a lot of them. Um, it is like 
almost number one for me, if not number one. I'd have to actually think about it, and it's hard to rank the Nancy Drew Diaries because they're just all so good. But it might this be one, my I favorite think, as well. It was really good. It was really good. Um, so Ghost of Grey Fox Inn, I think, is great. I am not terrified no. by it. But I think it deserves a three. I think it has some spooks. Uh, it definitely has it has its moments. Because mm-hmm. um, I think about, like, the moving behind the walls. Mm-hmm. And, like, somebody is, like, watch. Actually, maybe I'll give it a four. You think so? <laughs> I think maybe I'll give it a four. Because just the concept of, like, being watched and being observed and not knowing. And then Nancy gets, like, abducted at the mm-hmm. end. Like, that's insane. Also, the the mouse or rat crawling up is it? Bess? Oh yeah, when Bess is the. <laughs> mm. Those are that's good. <laughs> that those are good spooks. They were good. You think okay. a four? Yeah. I think a four. I think it deserves a four. Four sounds good to me. Okay, and now Secret of Redgate Farm, which is a bit of a um, curveball, a bit of a out of left yeah. field <laughs> choice, but it does have a ghost in it. Yeah, and a cult, like. That's scary that's pretty, right there. <laughs> that's pretty scary. Yeah. That might be a three for me. It definitely had its moments, but it mm-hmm. wasn't, it definitely doesn't rank as high as some of the other ghostly encounters that we've had. I agree. Absolutely. I think three is correct. So another kind of one-off random book we have that we decided to put in here is Whispering Statue, because we get kind of like the concept of the supernatural in that book, mm-hmm. a statue that talks. I don't know that there's a ghost in it. No. Um, they kind but, of imply that there could be, you know, that it's ghostly. It's haunted. It's a yeah. haunted statue that, with this woman's ghost. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think mm, it's scary in the danger aspect, but we're yes. not talking about danger scary. We're no. talking about haunted scary, which is different. So. Yeah, spookies. The spookies. Lots mm-hmm. of spookies. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think it falls somewhere in between three and four for me in that it, there are some spooks. It has its moments, but I don't know. I don't know if it's good, spooky. I think the best part of it for me is at the very end mm-hmm. where um, they're kind of confronting everybody and they all get carted off to jail or whatever. But then Nancy hears the statue talk like mm-hmm. after. And it like says something super specific to her. And so it's kind of like, wait, was it Hold haunted? <laughs> um, and so I really appreciate that. And that alone makes me want to give it like that's a good, that's a good spook, you know? Mm-hmm. But like across the course of the book, I don't know that there are good spooks. I think that's its one good spook. Yeah, I was gonna say three. That is, Let's you give know, it a three. That was its good moment, but overall. Uh, they're not enough to yeah. make it that there are good spooks in it. There, it has its moments. Yeah. Okay. Invisible Intruder, and this is a convention book. One. <laughs> so bad, it's actually funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just bad. It's just yeah. bad. Okay. And then our other convention book, which is Tolling Bell. Mystery of the Tolling Bell. Mm-hmm. It did have a ghost in it. Mm-hmm. I thought the vibes, great. Immaculate. Mm-hmm. But was it spooky? To, was that ghost doing anything to scare us or haunt us? No, they were just no. kind of a legend. I say three. You think a three? I think three. Yeah. Because I think the vibes alone make it a little spooky, but it says nothing, there's nothing good spooky about it. Right. You know? So I, I think three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, probably what a lot of you are waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get into the games. Um, we also covered this game at the convention, and so we'll just talk about it right up front. Midnight in Salem. <laughs> Corey, where does Midnight in Salem fall on our spooky tier for you? It has its moments, I would say. It definitely does. Yeah. There's a few jump scares that got me, I'll admit. Okay. Not, okay. Not the not the vibes that I was hoping for. It's not as, as good I was ho- as I was mm-hmm. hoping for, but it's there. I so I agree that it has some spooky moments, but I would also say that it has some moments that are so bad they're funny. So bad they're funny. Okay. <laughs> and so I don't I don't think that means I should give it a one, but I do wonder if that means we should split the difference and put it in a two. Mm-hmm. 
or and as not spooky at all. But I don't know. I think let's give it a three because it okay. does it does have its moments, and the funny moments don't discount those. You know? Sure. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Well, so it's it has yeah. some spooks. Some spooks. It's definitely not not spooky at all. Right. But a two would be a, a yeah. Um, yeah. Three. Okay. The next one, I think, is a five tier super spooky game that i to this day i'm 30 years old you guys i have to play with the lights on i think this is the (laughs) scariest game i agree hands down yeah um and of course you probably already guessed it it's ghost of thornton hall (laughs) that's a five for me easily that's five 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 super spooky so scary so scary yes (laughs) okay this one also has a ghost in it message in a haunted mansion seance Mm -hmm. um ghostly figures and uh mirrors and spooky sounds and all of that stuff is in this game so this is only the third game this was very very early on so you know their their graphics and everything were not the most sophisticated in the world but they still squeezed in a lot of spooks that were you know pretty good jump scares i jumped at a lot of a lot of different uh-huh. spots in this game. So Yeah. That have, definitely has a lot going for it. I want to give this a four. I think it's got good yeah. spooks. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say mean, like, four. Even like accounting for like the bad kind of graphics because it was, you know, or long ago, right? We have mm-hmm. to give it grace for that. Like, the, yeah, just in general, like just even playing it, we played it recently and like still, I was like, this is scary. Like mm-hmm. this is kind of spooky. So... I think I think it's deserving of good spooks, but not terrified. It holds up very well. I think. Yeah, it definitely does. I think that if I were a child playing it, in, I would give it. I would give it super spooky. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. because I'm, you know, an adult now, and it's 2023, it's like okay, good, yeah. great, good, good job. You know. Yeah. Okay. Ghost dogs of Moon Lake. This is gonna be a hard one to rank. It is. One of the I biggest. Say, credi- oh, sorry. I was, I was gonna say there is nothing scarier to me than being in that cabin at night and then hearing all the dogs mm-hmm. barking and howling and jumping up on the window. Mm-hmm. There's nothing scarier than that. Is it super spooky though? One of the biggest complaints that I hear about this game is that there wasn't enough hauntings. That yeah, mm. that that dog attacking thing was very very spooky but Mm -hmm. we needed more of it like we needed it to happen a few more times throughout the game another spooky part of the game for me very spooky part is when you're trying to go through the woods at night like collecting bugs and stuff that's very scary i love that part i think they missed an opportunity to give us some jump scares yeah i think so because like nothing actually happens Mm -hmm. like the build-up is like oh my god i'm in the woods at night the dogs but we don't nothing ever happens if it was more random, like Message on Haunted Mansion, where you don't know when you're going right. to trigger the ghost walking in front of you, we know when the dogs are going to attack in mm-hmm. that game. So if if there had been like a few other jump scares, I definitely think young me would have given it a five. Today me, good spooks, but not a five. Yeah, maybe a four. But without that, what I've, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I would give it. I would give it good spooks. It's super. It's good spooking. It has good spooks. But because it doesn't, it doesn't persist throughout. Like I have lots of time in that game where I'm not scared at all. Yeah. You know, any time in the day, uh, I'm not scared. <laughs> but the vibes are still pretty immaculate in the mm-hmm. day even. So, But like you think about, you think about Thornton Hall, it makes you do everything at night. The yeah. entire game takes place at night for that reason, because they know it's not going to be spooky during the day. Right. Yeah. They could have done something similar with this. I almost want to say a three because adult me is not that scared by this, oh. but young me was pretty scared. You know, I think. I think it's deserving of a four just because it has really good moments. Okay. I'll give you four. Like yeah. good spooks. Yeah. Not some spooks. It has some good spooks. You know what I yeah. mean? Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's also, do it's just a great game, too. So it's like I have to put it high. <laughs> Okay, now this is probably my favorite Nancy Drew game, PC game of all time. Gotta say. Curse of Blackmore Manor. I I think it's scarier than Ghost Dogs, but I don't think it's as scary as Thornton Hall or the CW show. So that's a I hard agree. one for me. 
I agree. How, how am I going to make the case that it's the so spooky it deserves a five? It's just because I love it so much. Jane. Is it Jane? Not Jane. Uh, well, Jane in general. Jane, yeah. But it's Linda. just scary. Um, but also um, <laughs> Ethel jumping out at oh. you. Um, the gargoyles, the dreams, the um, just, I mean, spooky gothic eyes glowing in the more um okay it's a five (laughs) that's that's a good point (laughs) also like getting to run around at night um who's ready to go on a ghost hunt like I don't know there's something so it's not just that it's spooky I'll agree like it's definitely not as spooky and it's not just that it's spooky but I think there is like such a joy in the spookiness of that game like it's just like a we are making something that's so like over, I don't want to call it over the top, but like so committed to a vibe, mm. <laughs> you know, like just, just the, like we're going to have little plastic ghosts everywhere. And it's like going to be all about like this, like um, scary family, but also like this concept of like old legends and monsters. And it's just, I just, mm. uh, I, yeah, it's just my favorite. <laughs> but so I, I could agree that it's not terrifying. So I would put it at a four, but I want to give it a five. So I'll let you decide between four and five. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll say four then. Yeah, okay. I, I okay. personally think it's more of a four. Okay. Fair, 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 fair. Very different vibes though from the rest mm-hmm. of the spooky vibes that we have here. It, like you said, it's a lot more gothic, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. We don't, I don't think there's another Nancy Drew thing like it. No. No, no, no. Definitely not. Stands out. Okay. Next up, a very spooky one. Legend of the Crystal Skull. Ooh. How do you get better than, like, a game that's 50% graveyard? Like... <laughs> you know, actually, I think that this is very similar. I just... I take it back. I said there was nothing like Blackmore Manor, but I think Legend of the Crystal Skull... Even though it's it's like, of course, it's a different vibe. Mm-hmm. It's similar to in like the goofiness and the commitment. Um, it's not quite it's, camp, but it's still very. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like I'm thinking of like the men in the skeleton costumes. Oh, yeah. The storms, like eyeballs and iguanas and alligators and just, oh, it's just so good. Um, All set to like a really fun jazz score. Like it's amazing. <laughs> hmm. I would get a, a four, I think. I almost want to give this one a five too. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. What is better than that start, though? I no know. other game has that start where it's like, hey, turn the off graphics. the lights. <laughs> we need you to turn the lights off for this. That got me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I remember playing that for the first time. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, let me get up and turn the lights off. It's mistake. scary. Huge mistake. <laughs> and having to, like, run around in the rain out in the graveyard, like the cemetery, the massive cemetery. Oh, and then that scene where we're on the phone with Bess, and she's like, oh, yeah, I just told Dr. Buford everything. He's where probably on his are? way right now. Ah! Thunder crash. Line goes Bess? dead. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we're just there with the creepy dummy in the attic. Oh, my gosh, yes. When As soon as you – I think you walk in for the first time, and the lightning flashes on the dummy's face. Mm-hmm. That's so spooky. That's super spooky. It's spookier than Blackmore Manor. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, I, no. Is it a five? It might a be a five. five. It's, it's a five. It's a five. Okay, this <laughs> next one. <laughs> okay. Um, Haunting of Castle Malloy. Now, okay. Here we out. You can make a I case for it. this one. Yeah, it's a I great one. I love Castle Malloy. Um, it's too funny. It's scary bad, actually funny. But that's why I love it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's like a dig against the game. Like, I think it's hilarious and like iconic. Mm-hmm. But like ghost flying around on a jetpack, like, come on. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think like jump scares and stuff. We have a couple of like sort Fiona. of jump scares, but they're right. not really as terrifying as any and, of like, the rest of them. <laughs> when you go to the the shack in the um wherever in the, the bog hut. The bog hut. Yeah. And she Fiona like comes in and Nancy's like trying to like talk to her and she like pushes you down the hole. Oh yeah. It's just hilarious. It's, great. it's so funny. It's not scary. She, Nancy's just like trying to talk to this woman and she's just like, mm, like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give it a one because it does have its moments. Does it? What name a moment? <laughs> um when the the crow comes flying and like lands in the branch and stares at Nancy. No, that's not as <laughs> When she appears in the window, that's a little spooky. Okay, it might be a one. I think I think it's a one. <laughs> okay. Remember, this is not like a this is not like a one to five ranking, right? It's right. level of spookiness. So right. it's not like we think it's a bad game. I think it's no. a great game, and I love it. I love to replay it. But I think like it's funny. It's not spooky. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. A one. Okay. Now another one of my favorites: Warnings of Waverly Academy. Not even a ghost one, but definitely, no. definitely deserves a spot on the spooky list, I think. Black Cat, Winter, Edgar Allan Poe. Not just Winter, uh, but like a blizzard blowing in. And so right. it's like building this tension that's going on throughout the entire game. Sabotage at every corner. Mm-hmm. That terrifying RA that catches you every time you walk <laughs> around the room. Yep. He, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I did too, not spooky at all. Yeah, I think it too. I think it's got great vibes. Absolutely. I think that if you're looking for a non-spooky but vibey Halloween game, even though it doesn't take place at Halloween, definitely. Yeah. It's definitely fall um, though. Late fall. We're getting colder, but it's, it's like it's nice yeah, vibes. It's, it's like breaks for like midterms or finals or something. So mm-hmm. it's like November. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So but I don't think it's scary. I don't think there's no. anything spooky about it. But I love it. Just not spook. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is our last. This is the last one we're going to rank. Um, and I think that this is super spooky. Five tier. Oh, absolutely. Spooky. It's five. Yeah. And it's Shadow of the Water's Edge. Yeah. <laughs> to no one's surprise. Yes. <laughs> super spooky. Deserves it. Okay. If anything, think- we need to rank like what, what aren't the spooky moments I in know. that game. Because everything is so scary. I love it. Seriously. <laughs> oh. So that leaves us with what four, five stars, or not five stars, five spookies. Let me categorize. Let's see, five. Okay. Yeah, I think the the lowest populated tiers are two. Yeah, pretty even distribution overall here. Mm-hmm. And I think that makes sense too, because we picked games that or picked things that um, you know fit the spookiness. So we had some that we had a lot that we thought were just funny, but not a lot that we didn't think were spooky at all. <laughs> so let's see, our fives here were Shadow at the Water's Edge, Legend of the Crystal Skull, Thornton, Ghost of Thornton Hall, and the CW Show. Mm-hmm. I think that's a pretty good tier five there. Mm-hmm. Okay, what were our fours? Hidden Staircase, the book, Ghost of Grey Fox Inn, Message in a Haunted Mansion, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, Blackmore Manor. Mm-hmm. Pretty good list there. Mm-hmm. Threes were Shadow Ranch, the game and the book, Secret at Redgate Farm, Whispering Statue, Mystery of the Tolling Bell, and Midnight in Salem. That feels accurate. Two, we just had two on this list. So that was the <laughs> Benita Granville Hidden Staircase movie and Warnings at Waverly Academy. Mm-hmm. And then So Bad They're Funny. That was the Ghost Stories, Hidden Staircase, the Sophia Lillis movie. Um, what else do we have here? Invisible Haunting Intruder Castle and Moy. Haunting of Castle Malloy. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. yeah. I what think that's list. pretty good overall. Yeah. A great little list. We hope it inspires you for some Halloween shenanigans. Um, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Have a good Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Regular Nancy Drew. Email us at regularnancydrew at gmail.com. If you like this episode, make sure to rate, review, and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram at regularnancydrew and Twitter at regularnd. You can also support us on Patreon. 
Patrons at the $3 level vote on upcoming episode topics and get exclusive access to our Scoop Sesh series. And all patrons receive early access to each episode as well as weekly bonus content. And to all you regular Drews out there, thanks for listening. listening.